Drivers, start your engines! Welcome, race fans, to the running of the NRA 500 here at Texas Motor Speedway. Marco Salpietro is your pole sitter with Ian Dutta to his outside. Kyle Singer, third. Roman Ray Hall, fourth. Tim Fiegel in sixth with Fred Singer, fifth. Dylan Thoreau, seventh. Danny Wells, eighth. Chris Washer, ninth. And Casey Gleason, tenth. Let's go through the rest of your field quick. Daniel Gilbert, Joshua Bach, and Keith Betts, and Seth Cole. Nick Alton, Jacob Reed, Eric Burton, Zachary Fitzwater, Cody Evans, Matt McIntyre, Foster Brown. Nick Solman, Henrietta Fitzwater, Jordan Newman, Ryan Acosta, Zach Lombard, Joseph Lombard, Keaton Atkinson, Aaron Cloverfield, Zach Dishman, Dylan Dom, Lane Brown, Joey Stone, Nick Pericles, John Trollston, Matt Corklin, Tyler Green, Jason Ashby, Julian Van Buren, Zach Schulte, Cam Thoreau, and Ivan Martinez. Shotgun on the field. Your points leader is Matt Corklin with Joey Stone. Just five points behind him. We'll keep an eye on these two as the race goes on. Your winners thus far this season, Sal Pietro, your 500 winner, and then uh, Danny Wells won in Atlanta. Then we went to Las Vegas, which was won by Dylan Dom in that 14. Keith Batson won the following weekend in Phoenix, and then Nick Pericles wins in Auto Club out in California. Will we get a sixth different winner this week? We'll just have to stick around and find out. Let's go down and get the command to start the engines. Drivers, start your engines! Alrighty, they've fired them up here. Should be rolling off in just a few moments. And there goes the field. Watch them pass through. It's like everybody's getting going fine. Maybe a little choke up there on the start but we'll take you down for your green flag momentarily 34 laps here at the texas motor speedway a beautiful night for racing the first night race of the season marco salpietro was your daytona 500 winner can he be the first driver to win two races this season he's gonna have to hold off a hard charging pack as a win means more than ever it means a chase berth this season. Will the driver clinch their chance to make it into the chase? We'll just have to find out. Marco Salpietro's got the green flag in his sights, and we're underway here in Texas. Salpietro's got the lead, but Kyle Singer is in hot pursuit in that 20 car. He's diving to the inside. He's got help from his teammate behind him. They're looking to make it Toyota 1-2 here in Texas. Toyota has not yet won a race this season. They'll definitely be looking to make that happen. Joe Gibbs is used to winning. He's won a lot of Super Bowls, three I believe. He'd love to get another win this season and put himself in contention to win his third championship in the, or fourth, excuse me, fourth NASCAR Sprint Cup Championship. Dylan Thoreau and Chris Washer, kind of bad news bears this season. They're having a good run so far. They started up front. We'll see what they're able to make out of this race. Daniel Gilbert's one of those guys that's been pretty down on his luck, too. They're all fighting for a win here in Texas today. One guy that's had plenty of luck, though, Keith Batson. He won at Phoenix using fuel strategy. He was able to make the fuel last. He got his win. He'll be in the chase when we come around further down the season. Jacob Reed. He's had a few good runs of late, a couple top tens. Looking to continue that streak here today in Texas.
three wide further back. Have to be careful there, guys. Gleason, Atkinson, and Wells there, three wide. Lane Brown, last week's winner. He's moving forward in that inside line. Gleason's still stuck in the middle. Same with uh, back here, Lombard, Evans, Newman, and Z uh, Zachary Dishman. They're all three wide in the middle. It's not something you want to hear. Just takes up so much energy and concentration to be able to hold that middle line for so long around here. Your leader currently is Foster Brown, but Henrietta Fitzwater wants a piece of it. She's headed to the inside. Ryan Acosta following her through. It's four forwards on the inside right there. Acosta making a move to the lead. Three wide. They're going around Eric Burton. Jacob Reed. Keith Batson, they're still three wide there. Daniel Gilbert as well. Chris Washer. These guys are pretty much headed to the back. But the good news is you get there quickly so you can get down to the inside and then move up. Cloverfield to the inside of Soman. Dylan Dom now to the he's to the third position. Dom looking to become a two-time winner this season. Like I mentioned before, he's got that win at Las Vegas. He's locked into the chase, but that's doesn't indicate anything about how you're going to perform in the chase. That's still ten long weeks away. Well, not ten weeks, hopefully. I don't have that kind of time. Still three wide in the middle of the pack. Reed, Batson, Washer, these guys are all three wide through here. John Trollston looking to the inside. Keaton Atkinson following him through as well. Julian Van Buren looking on with him right now. Lane Brown to the lead. Looks like he's trying to make a move for it. Ken Thoreau is not going to be denied, though. He is going to the inside now. 11 laps in here. We will have pit stops. It's on times two wear. So be looking for these guys to come in in about seven or eight laps, maybe. We'll see what happens there. Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully, no one gets a seizure. That was really bright. Van Buren to the lead. Pericles to second. He's going to the inside now, too. Seems it's just two wide through about the top ten. And then after that, it's three wide. Really close here. Three wide through just about the whole second half of the pack. Almost four wide there. It's like Sal Pietro was able to get to the bottom. Hopefully these guys aren't three and four wide when they come for pit stops because that is going to pose an issue. If we have guys from the top lane trying to pit and there's three car lanes underneath them. Fiegel and Dutta back here. Zach Schulte, he's got that unsponsored 98 car. He's moved it to the front. Lombard's right on his rear quarter panel, though, trying to move him out of the way and get a little side draft. Corkland out of the inside, followed by Nick Alton and Zachary Dishman. Couple Zachs at the front there. Zach Lombard, Zach Dishman, and Zach Fitzwater. 
It does get confusing at times, trust me. Luckily, they're all on three different teams and three pretty differently colored cars most of the time, so it's usually pretty easy to tell them apart. Zach Dishman, though, he's headed to the lead. He's to the inside of Nick Alton, making his move. Oop, excuse me, screwed that up. Three wide back here, Dylan Dom, Solman. What am I doing? Screwing something up, obviously. Danny Wells finally got back to the inside. Evans looked like he took his turn at the front, maybe. Shuffled out of the way now. Fitzwater leads that lap, but Jordan Newman's to the inside of him. Really surprised we haven't seen a wreck yet. I figured with the way these guys are racing, we'd have had at least one by now. They've been doing great so far, though. Keeping it together here. Just about to halfway. Chris Washer. Oh, Jason Ashby almost got up in the wall there. Still three wide in the back. Fitzwater in the middle there. I don't know if it's the track or the drafting distance or what, but I'm really surprised that pretty much everywhere we've run, except for Bristol, really, these guys have stayed double file like this for the whole race. I don't know if that's the track or drafting distance or what. Maybe I should talk to Danny about that. Anyways, Sal Pietro reclaims the top spot. Took him 19 laps, but he got back to the front and looks like he's going backwards again. Gleason to the inside. Could we be seeing pit stops here, maybe? Looks like it. Looks like Kyle Singer's coming to pit road. Tim Fiegel. Batson, maybe? Yep. Pit stops here. Here on lap 20. Gleason's your leader with Sal Pietro second. Now these guys are going to be looking to come soon too. They don't want to let these guys with new tires capitalize and get to the front faster than they can hold or faster than they can get back out from pits. They'll capitalize on those fresh tires and be able to make a lot of speed. Gleason's in, Sal Pietro's in. Seth Cole, Zachary Fitzwater, pretty much the rest of the field. With the exception of a few cars, Lombard's still out there. Newman's still out here. Both Lombards are still out here. Ian Dutta as well. Keep an eye on these guys as they head into pit road. Lombard's in. Newman, Lombard, and Dutta, the last four cars to pit. Looks like everybody's going to make it off pit road fairly cleanly. Oh, watch out. Oh, man. Thoreau didn't... I don't know if it was a spotter or what, but he just drove straight into the 7 of Nick Alton. He's definitely going to have some right side damage. Should be able to continue, but his car is definitely going to be hurting after that impact here on lap 21. So let's find our leader after pit stops. I got a feeling it's going to be one of these guys up here. Is it Sal Pietro? I think it should be him. These guys are all going to make it back around him. Oh, maybe not. Looks like Lombard might be your leader if he can get up to speed. Sal Pietro's going to dive to the inside, though. Yeah, Lombard was your leader. We got a pack of about two, four, five, six, seven cars here. Looks like they're going to be the ones fighting for this win here. We've already got two winners this year in this pack. Will we get another first-time winner? Will we get a caution? We'll have to find out later. Singer is right on the back bumper of Lombard. I'm surprised he didn't turn him there. 
Seven cars fighting for the lead here. Fitzwater, Green, Reed, Dishman, Lombard. Uh, let's see. Foster Brown, Jordan Newman, and Aaron Cloverfield, as long with, along with Cody Evans. They make up this other pack that's about nine cars, maybe. That's the, through the rest of the top 15. Matt Corklin there and Joey Stone. Those two can't seem to get away from each other. As well as Joshua Balkin, Solman, Fred Singer, Matt McIntyre, Eric Burton, Danny Wells, Schulte, Martinez. These guys are kind of spread out, but they should. If they use the draft, they should be able to catch the remainder of the field. And you have Gleason, Thoreau, Atkinson, Lane Brown, Trollston, Ray Hall, Acosta, Washer. Looks like those all those guys all maybe had some had slow pit stops. Pericles. Looks like he probably got boxed in or had some contact on pit road. Same with Gilbert. Kyle Singer is your leader, though. Just shy of 10 laps to go here. Looks like it's going to be decided between these seven. Unless we get a yellow. Kyle Singer's the man out front, but Sal Pietro and... Uh, sorry. Salpietro, Fiegel, and Batson are all on the inside lane there. Salpietro would like nothing more than to get that second win and lock himself into the chase. But there are guys here that need that win more than him. What will, will they be willing to do to get that first win of the season? I know Tim Fiegel wants a win. He's been having a pretty bad luck season. He wouldn't probably be too shy about using that rear bumper to move him out of the way. These guys are all on pretty equal ground. It's just going to be a matter of if you can get in front and you hold the position or if you get moved out of the way by the draft. Looks like that's what's going to happen here. Batson's going to slingshot the three card headed down the back stretch and have to dive it down into turn three. Looks like it's going to stick and he's going to bring Ian Dutta with him. Three wide for the lead. Dutta wasn't wasting any time either. Oh, Batson got a run or Dutta checked up, but they were three wide for the lead there. I think Dutta probably checked up because that cost Tim Fiegel a lot of momentum. Same with Seth Cole. And now they're single file in this first pack. Oh, we have a caution. That's why they slowed down. I didn't know. We have a caution out for somebody. I saw the smoke. It might be Gilbert. I wonder if somebody just spun around. Oh no, your point leader, Matt Corklin. He's got major damage to that 27 car. Who else is involved? Looks like that was it. So he must have got either some cars DNF'd already or he got turned off of somebody. Should maybe get a restart, but let's quick take a look and see what happened to bring out that caution. Riding around here on lap 28, Zach Schulte and Danny Wells, as well as Fred Singer. I think, I don't know what they were thinking, but Danny Wells ended up going down. Uh, Schulte, and, uh, Schulte and Singer pretty much just slid. Dylan Dom got some. But then, I think it was... Uh, yeah, Joshua Balkin and the 27 car must have collided at some point because they got the worst end of this. Let's go on board with Matt Corklin here and see see what he saw. Just riding along here. I wonder if Danny Wells maybe got loose and kind of came down. And he almost had it saved. And then Dylan Dom gets into the uh, gets into the 66 of Balkan there. And that put an end to Corklin's night. He might be able to limp around, but definitely going to lose the points lead to Joey Stone. So let's hopefully take you back for your restart. Lights are out here in Fort Worth. We've got a green-white checkered coming up. Keith Batson is your leader currently, but he's got... Marco Salpietro in second, Ian Dutta third, Seth Cole fourth, and Tim Fiegel fifth. Lombard sixth, Singer seventh, Reed eighth, Zachary Lombard ninth, and Jordan Newman in tenth. You got two winners already this season. 
They're out front, and they're going to be trying to hold off these guys from getting their first win of the season. Will they be able to do it? we got two laps to decide who's the winner of the NRA 500. Pace car is just about to dive to pit road. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. The pace car is in pit road. Keith Batson is going to bring him back to the green flag. We've got just two laps to go here in the NRA 500. Green flag's back in the air. He gets a good jump on Sal Pietro. Ian Dutta's right there, though, too. Seth Cole didn't get a good restart that he wanted. He's getting passed by Tim Fiegel there. Is this what Keith Batson wanted, though? I don't know. Sal Pietro's getting a good run here on the inside. Ian Dutta and Fiegel are right behind him, though. Sal Pietro's got him clear off of turn three. Watch for Dutta to dive to the inside, though. Dutta's making his move. Tim Fiegel's on the inside of him. They're three wide for the lead. Three wide here on the last lap. Sal Pietro and Dutta getting shuffled. Now Tim Fiegel to the, to the point, but he's got to worry about the 20 car. Kyle Singer dives it to the inside. All he's got to do is hold off the 99 car and come back to the finish line. Reed's moving him up the track, though. He's got to run to the inside, but it's going to be Kyle Singer taking the checkered flag and getting his first win of the season. The first win for Toyota in the 2014 season. Kyle Singer wins it with Jacob Reed second. Jordan Newman third. What a great finish here in Texas. Let's take a look at your finishing results. Kyle Singer is your winner with Jacob Reed second. Jordan Newman comes home third. Tim Fiegel fourth. And Zachary Fitzwater fifth. Joseph Lombard sixth. Ian Dutta seventh. Seth Cole eighth. Aaron Cloverfield ninth. And Keith Batson couldn't hold off the guys on that last restart. He ends up tenth. Sal Pietro eleventh. Foster Brown twelfth. Zach Dishman thirteenth. Zachary Lombard fourteenth. Julian Van Buren fifteenth. Nick Soman sixteenth. Tyler Green seventeenth. Henrietta Fitzwater eighteenth. Cody Evans nineteenth. And Ivan Martinez twentieth. Jason Ashby, Joey Stone, Eric Burton, Matt McIntyre, Nick Alton, Casey Gleason, Lane Brown, Roman Rahal, Keaton Atkinson, Ryan Acosta, Ken Thoreau, Chris Washer, Dylan Dom, Josh Rolston, Dylan Thoreau, Nick Pericles, Daniel Gilbert, Danny Wells, Fred Singer, Joshua Balkin, Schulte, and Corklin all involved in that last wreck. Or in the, involved in that wreck, excuse me. Joey Stone will no doubt take the point lead after this race with Matt Corklin being involved in that crash. Next week, we're going to Richmond, and after that, it's Talladega. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is all from Fort Worth. Congratulations to Kyle Singer on his first win of the season. He'll be in the chase. We'll see you guys in Richmond. Have a good night. Oh, I better export. That would be really freaking bad if I didn't. Ah, can't type either. This is really race six. I'm a race off for some reason. Alrighty, save. Okay, that's all for BPSX Cup Series here in Fort Worth. Have a good night, everybody.